Rudolf Steiner was a great mind, but mind you, I say, a great mind, and mind as such has nothing to do with religion. He was tremendously talented. In fact, it is very rare to find another man to compare with Rudolf Steiner. He was so talented in so many directions and dimensions it looks almost superhuman. A great logical thinker, a great philosopher, a great architect, a great educationist, and so on and so forth. He brought very novel ideas to whatsoever subject he touched. Wherever he moved his eyes, he created new patterns of thought. He was a great man, a great mind, but the mind as such, small or great, has nothing to do with religion. Religion comes out of no mind. Religion is not a talent, it is your nature. If you want to be a great painter, you have to be talented, if you want to be a great poet, you have to be talented, if you want to be a scientist, of course, you have to be talented, but if you want to be religious, no special talent is needed. Anybody small or great who is willing to drop his mind and enter into the dimension of the divine. Of course, great talented men find it very difficult to drop their minds. Their investment is bigger. It is very easy for an ordinary man who has no talent to drop his mind. Even then it seems so difficult. He has nothing to lose, still, he goes on clinging to it. Of course, the difficulty is multiplied when you have a very talented mind when you are a genius. Then your whole ego is invested in your mind. You cannot drop it. Rudolf Steiner founded a new movement called Anthroposophy, against Theosophy. He was a Theosophist in the beginning, but then his ego started fighting other egos in the movement. He wanted to become the very head, the supreme most of the theosophical movement in the world, the world head. That was not possible, there were many other egos. The greatest problem was coming from J. Krishnamurti, who is not an ego at all of course, theosophists were thinking more and more toward Krishnamurti. He was becoming, by and by the Messiah. That created trouble in Rudolf Steiner's mind. He broke off from the movement. The whole German section of theosophy broke off with him. He was really a very, very convincing orator, a convincing writer, he convinced people. He destroyed theosophy very badly, he divided it. Since then, theosophy could never again become whole and healthy. Please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.